Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I get a lot of messages in LinkedIn almost every week like, hey, is data structures and algorithm or DSA for short is really required for a DevOps or cloud engineer role. So I get all these messages like, hey, you are in Google, but in your interview, did you prepare for DSA or your profile needs it or not? So I thought to make a video around it so that you can get the clarity and we can settle this debate. So I'll divide this video for two personas, right? One is a fresher or someone who is in their third or fourth year of college, right? Or, you know, someone who is in their first or second year of their professional journey. And the second part is where someone is like six years, eight years or 10 years of experience. And then they're trying to get into DevOps or cloud engineering role. So basically, if you are a fresher or someone in third year or fourth year of you know their bachelors, then I will recommend you to learn DSA or at least try to learn the basics of DSA or the intermediate. Just give it a shot, all right? Go to lead code and try various uh, things there. See whether you know you are getting it and how it is working, right? I've seen a lot of people just thinking about it. Say, hey, it's very difficult. I will not be able to do it. So let's see whether you know this DevOps engineer will suit my profile or not because I'm a little bit weak in DSA, right? So what I personally believe is just go out there and if you are in college, third year, fourth year, just try it for six months and then decide whether you're not getting it. But I can guarantee you if you give it six months, you'll definitely, you know, get a hang of it and then you'll be able to solve intermediate level uh, lead code, uh, code, right? So that will be my recommendation for someone who is just starting out in their professional journey or someone who is in college looking for this uh, DevOps or cloud engineering role. Because if you have that uh, capability to code, you will always, always excel in your role as a cloud or DevOps engineer. In my previous video, I talked about a day to day job of a DevOps engineer and I talked about a thing called troubleshooting, right? And if you have that skill of knowing each and every layer of the application stack, like you know, databases, the application, the cache, etc., and a little bit of the code, like how it is working, where it is failing, the stack trace and all those things, you'll definitely be able to troubleshoot better than someone who doesn't know the code at all. So that's why I recommend you to learn DSA if you are starting out as a fresher and because you can learn, right? You have that time, etc., and you can devote that time there, right? So that's one of the recommendation for someone who is starting out right for six months, see where uh, it takes you. And I'm sure that, you know, you will get good at DSA because, you know, a uh, lot of companies uh, prefer someone who knows a little bit about, uh, you know, all these uh, stacks, queues, graphs, uh, etc. Now coming to the second part where if you are experienced like six years, eight years or 10 years uh, or even more, then at least learn the fundamentals of data structures and algorithms right like what is the link list how does it work solve very basic questions just to see like um, you know just that in the interview don't get caught off guard for anything just prepare your basis correctly i'm not saying like don't dive too much deeper there i'm just saying that if you don't want to learn DSA, just cover the basics. So for example, basics of stacks, queues, arrays, graphs, etc., and uh, just the time complexity and uh, space complexity of all these things. Just the basics, right? You don't have to dive deeper into that if you don't want to, because DevOps, cloud engineering, it's all about, you know, you build a lot of scripts, you build or do automation. It's like a practical coding thing, right? no one will ask you to write a software or application right so it's all about automating things you'll call a lot of apis and all those things so that's where you know a little bit of coding if you know you you will be you know a lot ahead of a devops engineer who doesn't know how to code so that will be my recommendation around dsa now you might say that hey um, you know like still i don't want to do it right but it might be a little bit hard pill to swallow i know because a lot of people i know uh, you know, doesn't like to code at all, but I know it can be a hard pill to swallow based on whatever I just mentioned, but you're working and for a reason, right? You have to excel in your job and I get those LinkedIn messages just to do better in a job, right? So uh, that's what my take is. So just go ahead, learn DSA. I'm not saying full-fledged DSA, but at least the basics, 
just to clear your interview you might or might not use in your uh, day to day work but in interviews definitely you know you can get asked about dsa even if it is a cloud engineering role so that will be my recommendation so that's what i wanted to cover in this video i think you might also like this particular video over here where i talk about a day to day job of a cloud or devops engineer and uh, share this video if you liked it and uh, if uh, you have any questions feel free to reach out to me on linkedin ask your questions there i'll try my best to reply to each of the messages and feel free to comment in the below section as well and uh, until then you get to live make the most out of it thank you